what's real in your life? Right now. Right now. Yesterday's a memory. Yesterday's in the past. Let's face it, we probably don't even remember it accurately anyway. Tomorrow's a hope. Tomorrow's a future. I hope that tomorrow we will be better and, and not lie to me about where we're going when we take the hall pass. Not even like I asked in the first place. But tomorrow's a hope, man. We hope that things are gonna be a certain way. So tomorrow's a hope, yesterday's a memory, so all you have is right now. So how do you become better? You, you, you do better right now. That guilt of the things you did in the past, in the past. You can't, you know, people say things like, yeah, but I can't change the past. No one says you can. Let's get over that. Like when people say, I'm not perfect, nobody asks you to be. Nobody asks you to be. But are you better right now? Are you better right now? Are you better right now? Every time, every single second I ask that, that river is flowing. Or are you exactly the same that you were a second ago? And better doesn't have to be stronger, faster, bigger. Better just has to be, you tell me. Are you more honest and truthful than you were a minute ago or a day ago with yourself? And others? Are you more forthright? Have you, have you learned some things? Have you thought about some things? Or have you entertained yourself into mediocrity that you're just always the same? I guess think of it this way. Does anybody in here want to be in better shape? Good. Anybody in here want to get in the gym and work out? <laughs> So it's interesting that those are different numbers. Anybody in here want to sweat through it day in, day out, wake up early, hit the gym, get your hours in every single day, no matter what? Yeah. If, if, if you enjoy it, good on you, man. Good on you. I'll tell you the truth. I fucking hate training. I hate every almost every single second of it. It hurts. What the hell are we doing? We're running around, we're trying to break each other's arms, we're punching each other in the face. What the hell's wrong with us, dude? And one time I was standing there, we're talking to a friend of mine, I'm like, what the hell's wrong with us? We're wearing like burlap pajamas and we're trying to strangle each other. I, why don't we grow the hell up at some point? You know, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing this rash guard and it had like this, it was a, it was a Halloween one, it had like this pumpkin, when like, it was on her, I'm like, I said, I'm wearing a, I'm a grown man and I'm wearing a, a goddamn spandex shirt with a flamey pumpkin head on it. And, 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 he, and he's laughing, my friend's like, and people are telling you they like it. I go, right, and other grown, grown adults are, are, are redundant, grown adults, and other adults are complimenting me on this. What the hell is wrong with us? I don't know, working on that. But is it an attitude that I really wanna go? No, but it's a behavior that you, that you pursue. It's easy to say, I want to be in shape, man. I want to look great. I want to feel great. I want to have a long success. But those, cheat, uh, those, those flaming Hot Cheetos, though, right? Am I right? <laughs> With those donuts. And then you get up the road, and, and you're, that, you're that pain in the ass who wears the shirt that says exercise. I thought you said extra fries. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, was, that was funny the first two or 3,000 times you, you heard it. And then we like laugh, like some people will say they go for a jog, you're like, oh my God, I would die if I did that. And you laugh, it's like, you're gonna die if you don't. <laughs> you know? oh, is it that serious? You tell me when you're on your deathbed how serious it was. You know? When you can't go up a flight of stairs, dude, there's a teacher here, Mrs. Hall, she's my master teacher, I've mentioned her a thousand times. She's, she's on the third floor in the corner, and I'd go visit her and she'd say, she'd say, you know, I really like it when you visit me, because you're the only teacher who comes to visit and isn't out of breath when you're talking to me. <laughs> I'm like, it's two flights of stairs, man. Well, yeah, but you know, life, time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But and I'm not chastising people for it, but what I am saying is we all want to be in shape. We all want to change. But doing the thing is, is difficult. Asking why people don't change is like asking why we don't eat better. Because the temptations not to are so prevalent. That's why. There's lots of opportunities. And there's that give up itis. People think that they can't because oftentimes they just don't think that they deserve it. That's where a lot of it comes from. And just from the few things you've told me before, that's, that's where I'm guessing it probably comes from. Without having a chance to sit and diagnose, I would, I would say that it, it comes from a deep-seated sense of feeling like she's not good enough. 
that the sins of the past are too overwhelming and she can't, and in, no matter what she does, it's never going to make up for that. It's a give up by just giving up on the self. And that's why there's this thing of, it's better for you if you go forward and you do this. I wonder how many of you guys have parents who, 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 who didn't graduate high school or barely did and are really pushing you to go to college. I wonder how many of our parents would sit there and go, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to take, a, I'm going to take a, a class at a community college one night a week. Is education good or not? Oh yeah, it's good for you. Eating better is good for you. I guess one for me today. Sleeping is good for you. I'm sure some of you have figured out that sometimes I come in here and I haven't been asleep yet in days. It happens sometimes. And you guys all, oh, man, listen. Drink more water. Okay, get more rest. Eat more vegetables. Okay? Questions? Good advice for you. I had, I had a glass of water day before yesterday. Now, I'm not making this up. I am not exaggerating. Please understand that. I do not remember the last glass of water I had before that. It's been weeks, at least weeks. Should I drink more water? Should I eat more vegetables? Should I get more than two hours of sleep before I come in here? God damn it. Listen guys, you need to change. <laughs> you need to change your expectations of me. No, but we all know those things, but whether or not you believe that you're better, you're good enough for that. And that's why I tell you guys, carry some, have a little bit of guilt, but not so much guilt that stops you from, from being what you could be and doing what you could do. As soon as you start feeling like, I'm a piece of shit, I don't deserve this. Are you a piece of shit? Yeah, I don't know, probably, many of us are. I hope not, but here's the thing. You're not in the same river. I was a piece of shit when I began that, sen that, that sentence, but the river's passed, I have changed a little bit. And that's all the little boost that you might need to, ch to change, you know? So maybe you were a piece of shit yesterday are you a piece of shit today if you continue what you did yesterday yeah but yesterday was yesterday ah oh, but you know there are there are people who say if i don't forgive that quickly okay you're such a you're, you're so cool god forgives i don't <laughs> fold my arms yeah okay because by this you know the way that you judge that by the same measure you'll be judged as well but who cares don't judge yourself that way because you're probably way more forgiving of other people than you are yourself, some people. Some people are way more forgiving of themselves than they are of other people, for sure. I know people like this. But forgive yourself, because here's the thing. What, what's real in your life? Right now. Right now. Yesterday's a memory. Yesterday's in the past. And let's face it, we probably don't even remember it accurately anyway. Tomorrow's a hope. Tomorrow's a future. I hope that tomorrow we will be better. And, and not lie to me about where we're going when we take the hall pass. Not even like I asked in the first place. But tomorrow's a hope, man. We hope that things are gonna be a certain way. So tomorrow's a hope. Yesterday's a memory, probably a, 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 a corrupt one. So all you have is right now. So how do you become better? You, you, you do better right now. That guilt of the things you did in the past, it's in the past. You can't, you know, people say things like, yeah, but I can't change the past. No one says you can. Let's get over that. Like when people say, I'm not perfect, nobody asks you to be. Nobody asks you to be. But are you better right now? Are you better right now? Are you better right now? Because every time, every single second I ask that, that river is flowing. Or are you exactly the same that you were a second ago? And better doesn't have to be stronger, faster, bigger. Better just has to be, you tell me. Are you more honest and truthful than you were a minute ago or a day ago with yourself and others? Are you more forthright? Have you, have you learned some things? Have you thought about some things? Or have you entertained yourself into mediocrity that you're just always the same? And I tell you this, and I know that some people say this out of, out of anger. Please no, I don't say this out of anger, man. I say this out of frustration. And I love you guys too much to come across any more of you guys at jobs that I know you hate. I mean, I come across former students. 
And it's just like, God, you hate, I, 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 have, four, I have a, a student I'm thinking of right now, I went to a restaurant and, and the student avoided me because they were, they were, they were running, they were running food. And this is a person who, I don't want to say too much, but this is a person who, if, if I had told them back in high school, you know what, dude, six years from now, you're going to be, you're going to be running, you're going to be running food over at a restaurant in Chula Vista. They'd have been like, you don't know shit. Actually, I don't think so. We, we got along okay. But you get the idea. People are like this. Where's that person right now? Do I look at that person and go, <laughs> no. I look at that person and I go, fuck. Not because it's a bad job. Not because it's a humiliating job. Only because it's not what the person dreamed of being. That's all it is. Now, what is that person probably thinking right now? Well, it's too late for me to go back to school. It's too late for me to do this. It's too late for me to do that. But dude, you're 24. It's not too late. Dude, you're 54. It's not too late. Dude, you're 94. It's not too late to be better. But if you feel like you don't deserve it, you're not going to do it. You've got to get over that part. How do you get over that part? You do better today. You force yourself to do something good right now. And then you force yourself to do something good in an hour. And after a while, you, you all of a sudden can realize, maybe I'm not so bad. I have the ability to do better. Can't make up for the past. But I can make the past better by having a lot of good nows. So in the future, it's the past that I hoped it would be. If that makes sense. Others. Yeah. It's not a bad metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. Take the river of all the things that you've done at the end you have an ocean. Is your ocean clean or is it polluted? Yes. How polluted though? How clean? It doesn't matter. One of the hard things I'm gonna tell you, it's true. You're gonna do some terrible stuff in your life, man. Everybody in here is gonna do stuff that you're gonna be embarrassed about and shamed of. And, and it's very hard to live a life and not do that stuff. You know? Now, I only tell you that because we, often, you know, we always clutch our pearls and it's like, never me. I would never do anything. Whatever you say, I would never get ready. Because you're about to. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the thing you're going to do. And that's the hard thing. Now you have to deal with it. Like, you know what? If, when I have kids, I'm, gonna be, I'm never going to abuse them like my parents abused me. Never. I would never do that to them. Fast forward. Listen, I can't change. But you can. <laughs> You know? And it's, it's hard because you carry around not just what you've done, but you also carry around that, that shame of, I thought I would never do that. I said I would never do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I said I would drink more water. I would eat more vegetables uh, and get more rest. Don't beat yourself up too much. By the way, the same holds true for everybody else. I think that's the harder part, too. Don't beat other people up too much either. I have, no? Yeah. I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that. What's that? You have what? I was just thinking. A bunch of, like a million things at once.